Hey there, it's Finishing Sharks, Ace here, and I hope you're doing well. And I am right outside, and yes, it is me, still in here. I'm right outside the world-famous Excalibur Hotel and Casino. Let's go ahead and see if this sword is still worth its snuff. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay, it's Finishing and Sharks, before we get inside, let's talk a little history originally planned to be the Xanadu Asian theme resort. The Excalibur Hotel and Casino was completed in 1990. It's another family-friendly resort from Circus Circus Enterprises that MGM Resorts International, back when they were Mirage MGM, bought in 2005. Uh, coincidentally, the head architect on this project was also Veldon Simpson. You'll probably remember his name from our last video when we talked about the Luxor Hotel and Casino. Well, link that somewhere in the upper corner. But anyway, it's 104 degrees out here. Let's get inside, get some ye old air conditioning. Oh, and before I forget, here's Merlin's house. He used to come out and slay the dragon in the 90s, but they don't do that anymore. Alright guys, first things first, we roll straight in, we got the Sword in the Stone bar over here at the Excalibur. As well as the rest of the main entrance, you can actually mobile check in from the very front. And this is usually where you'll find the uh, timeshare owners. Thunder Down Under comes up over here. I remember taking a really fun souvenir picture with a couple of the uh, quote-unquote bar wenches from the uh, Tournament Kings. So from that little show there, that's not running right now unfortunately. We were supposed to go to that like yesterday, but it wasn't running, so we're going to do something a little different. Now, if you head down the stairs normally, you'd be seeing the Fun Dungeon. But presently, the Fun Dungeon appears to be closed, possibly because of social distancing protocols. Not quite sure. They have a Dairy Queen down there, too, if you guys are at all interested in that. Great place to hang out with the kids and all. Still have that old nasty carpet, though. What a shame. Oh, I gotta admit, this is probably the cleanest I've seen in the hotel in many, many years. So, I'll give him that. Now here to the left, we see the hotel lobby, straight ahead of us now. That's before we get into the uh, hotel proper. But yeah, this is where all your guests check in. And uh, yeah, and then on the other side, we have the box office over here, so you can get your shows like Thunder Down Under and Tournament of Kings if you don't already have My Vegas Rewards for it. If you do have My Vegas Rewards for it, don't forget to go ahead and redeem those. There's a link to that video in the upper right hand corner. And otherwise, we also have the pool, the spa, the lounge, and Dick's Last Resort that are over this way, past the market, where they have all the uh, essentials. All right. Definitely one of the bigger casinos, though, for 3,000 rooms. It was the biggest hotel in the world at its time when it uh, when it was built. Oddly, it was actually one of the uh, first hotel casinos they considered playing at. Uh, what? Hold up, Play Studios. Y'all got that branding over here. Oh, we're gonna have to play this. Cool. So 200 max bet on that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to play this a little later. We're going to have to put 100 spins on the clock. Okay. Cool. Um, you guys can see that the casino area is a little wider. Like, there's a lot more space in between the machines now. Coming through, 
You see that we do have hand washing stations here. And I think we have some on the other side too. Let's go ahead and take a lap around the casino first. Alright, now after we fork off over here, this is where the towers are. You get it, you can get to the Luxor actually going this way. If you guys like the Luxor Hotel and Casino, I know I do because I have that Buffalo Gold over there. And that's where we win, is at Buffalo Gold. And that's how you get to the Royal Tower and wander over to the Luxor. But in the meantime, we'll go by Sherwood Forest. Because, you know, this is all King Arthur and uh, Robin Hood themed and all that. The closest we're getting to like a British casino, it's all medieval. And I gotta admit, I would love a proper London themed casino. It could be a London Bridger Hotel and Casino. You guys think Bridger would do that? Put Retrigger in the comment section down below to get uh, Bridger to uh, do the theming. I love that they still have the medieval theming up top. Not much over on this side, just the sports book. That's probably the most interesting thing is the sports book. It's a high limit room, isn't a thing right now. But yeah, you can hit the sports book over here. And then there's a lovely Starbucks in this area. Because, you know, every hotel casino needs a Starbucks for some reason. Oh, here we go. And here is the proper map of the whole place. So, here's where we are. We're at Rotunda right now. And we just came through, through the front entrance. We went past the lobby bar, past Johnny Rockets, Vagabond and all that by the Royal Tower. Resort Towers are over here. So we'll be walking by High Limit Slots and the Casino Cashier and all that back to Baja Fresh from where Dick's last resort is, and then we'll be able to take the uh, escalator upstairs to the castle level. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish this old tour over here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out this side over here. I think we're going to go check out... We got the high limit... Oh, what's this? M Life Rewards presents Freedom Free Play. Five times free play and gift points. I wonder if there's a way we can abuse this. Gonna have to figure that out later. Okay, and we're up on the lounge now. Wasn't much over there, it was just kind of the uh, security cabinet and all. But here's the uh, Excalibur lounge. It's all right, I guess. I wouldn't spend a lot of time over here. But yeah, seeing a lot of slot attendants wiping down slots and all. 
think that's a good thing. There's the Baja Fresh. And now that we've been back over here by Baja Fresh and Lips Last Resort, let's go upstairs to the castle level. All right, guys, we're heading up the escalators right now to go check out the castle. Onwards and upwards, the explorers. Spinning some sharks, we are officially up the stairs now. So let's go ahead and take a nice lap around the castle level. Take a walk up this way. This is where you can check out the Italian restaurant. And this also happens to be where the Thunder Down Under uh, mail review is. So it's a great, nice, uh, this is a nice little place for uh, ladies' night. I'm not sure if it's a ladies' only event though. That's kind of a thing. I don't think I've ever seen guys go to this. I know I've seen guys go to Chippendales before, so I'm not sure if it's male friendly or not, if it's something that you're into, awesome, if not, hey, whatever. There's always Chippendales for the fellas that are into that. But ladies, this is all for you, girls' night out back, and I love that y'all have a night. Also have the Thunder Down Under Bar. That's a good place. And then here is the, well, here's the Luxor Buffet. Not a Luxor buffet. Why would I say Luxor? I meant Excalibur. Which is actually really pretty for what it is. And I think it's going to be great when it reopens. It's well lit in here. Clean. But unfortunately, it's very closed right now. And I suspect it will be closed for the foreseeable future. Be ready. Now we're coming over here to the food court. Sea to Life USA, so they have some more shopping up this way. You can also get to Luxor and Mandalay Bay through this walkway that's coming up. So we have Auntie Anne's uh, pretzels over here. I think they got a Popeyes in here too. And then a couple other shops, like there's a gift shop back there, the Las Vegas gift shop. Not actually affiliated with the hotel, so you can't do chargebacks to the room. Let's see. There's also the 24-7 bar over here. It's at 24-7 bar, 24-7 shop, excuse me. And then there's the Welcome to Las Vegas gift shop. All right, so we come around this way and we're gonna get back into the food court. We'll take a hard right here. And yeah, that's the food court, guys. God, I can only imagine how muffled I'm gonna sound on the playback for this. I might end up just kind of narrating this just through uh, voiceover. Probably gonna have to do a lot of videos with just voiceover. Alright, so you have all the standard staples over here. You have your hot dog on a stick, your Popeyes, Einstein's pickup sticks, and Cinnabon. So it's just like any other mall. A lot of space in the middle right now. It used to be that they packed people in like really tight over here, get as many tourists as they could get. But yeah, now it's like really spread out, socially distanced, and I love that fact. Although you still have all the other shops, and every other shop is open right now. Not all of them, but like every other one. So if you want a frozen margarita, you can still get it at Big Chill. So get your tattoos over here. But yeah, if you want decorative bath soaps or a dragon, it's not happening right now because those places are still closed.
There we go. Magnet Max. All right, there we go. And then if you're ready to go to Luxor, this is how you get there. All right there, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we meet, I think we're going to go ahead and get some dinner together. That's right, we're going to check out Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill at MGM Grand. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and, of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas.